funny because I've seen some in my lifetime that I was like a banker, that I owned banks and you know, mm. and then in Sweden and here in the U.S., it was always like a banker and I had banks. I had you know, and it's funny because in, in I have vaults. I mean, I own banks, you know, so I have vaults full of gold and all this wow. stuff. Either. But the funny thing is like, I we we have been into inside two vaults. We went to Sweden um, this year for her birthday, and then we went to a gym. That you know, like we ended up going to a gym there for we were there for two weeks, and then all of a sudden, as you know, as we going we're, we're working out, I'm like, I'll be right back. I gotta go use the bathroom. And as I'm walking, I'm looking for the bathroom, and I open this door, which I'm like, straight over here. It's the vault. It's a vault to get into the. Wow! Is it a bank? It's the vault. It's a vault to get into the. Wow! Is it a bank? Well, it was. It was a gym. It was a gym, but but it had been the. Uh, uh, it had been the Federal Central Bank of Sweden. That's where we were at. But it now it was a gym. And that was and, just and... to go inside to work out, you know. But it had they. You could go in there. It was like a place to you know to do a stretch and stuff. That was oh like my oh my god. Goodness. So this used to be a vault, you know. And, and then we went to a uh, salt bank here in uh, near Santa Monica. Like, we went to this, this, this Norwegian, uh, this uh, Danish town, and we went into the museum. They had a, a, a museum, Viking museum, and inside the museum, there's a vault inside a vault. Mm. So we came inside two vaults. So, so I told Linda, you know, it's we're, we're like actually quantum jumping the vaults from yeah. our own lifetimes into this lifetime because they're all inter. So they, you, you know, so then I told her, this is what we need to do. Like, I need to. I mean, I'm not there yet, but I want to, you know, I want to go and travel to that one lifetime of mine where I have all this gold. And then take all that gold and bring it with <laughs> Like, can I borrow some of this? It's mine. It's literally it mine. <laughs> you know, instead of taking forks, man, take a cup of gold, you know, a cup of box of gold or something. And, and let me, let me, and, and I'm, I, look, I'm totally there with you. I would love to do that. And I, I love that there's no coincidences. Like, there's no, I mean, out of all the gyms that you went to, you just happen to go to one that is connected to another lifetime where it was a bank. I mean, come on, you know. Um, but I remember, yeah. uh, I think I, I started reading um, uh, the, the the diary of the of the yogi, or I'll I'll, just, I'll put the book when I remember what it is. But I was beginning to read that, and they were mentioning, and so I'm, I'm mentioning this for a reason. They were mentioning a guy who um, was taught under one of these masters, and he was not really known for being that on the up and up. Like he kind of, when it came to money and stuff like that, he was kind of whatever, right? But he would because he knew how to forget going through to other parallel lives. He knew how to like. Um, like you said, how the atom could be in two different places and quantum entanglement and all that. So he was able to jump from one location to the other. So he would go into the neighborhood bank, take whatever money he wanted and then take it. And so people in that village or whatever started to like lose certain items and watches and this and that, whatever. And so then his his powers were taken because like, like you said, you have to have a certain level of um, integrity. But with this one, it's like it's you. Like you literally be just asking That's yourself, you. can I can I like you asking your mom or dad, can I borrow some money? <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and that is I know, awesome. I know, I know. Can you imagine yeah. if you could do that. Oh my god. I mean, I believe so. You know, I'm not there yet, so I don't know how to do it. <laughs> but I, but I, that's the thing that I, I came to. I, you know, that's how the fifth dimension. Once you start becoming one, you know, with all your life, because they're all you, right? So they're all you. Yeah. So then you can quantum jump around all those lifetimes, but then even quantum jump objects or or things or you know or, nice. or or you know or abilities that's what i was saying too like like when maybe as you you know more and more start having access to your other selves then more and more you can start you know then maybe being aware so then you can extract abilities like you know i was an artist so then you yeah. become then you have that ability or or you know uh, or whatever it is like i have this gift so then you can pull them into this lifetime or or maybe yeah. i had this energy of abundance that was a you know, king or whatever, then you can maybe extract that energy. So I think that that's, a, you know, for sure, uh, you know, part of our evolution and, and possible. But, you know, again, I'm like just barely opening my eyes, um, yeah, you know, to this level. I love that idea. And I, I think it is possible. And I, I hope that we kind of can figure it out because it will also empower people who are having a tough time this time around, like say in your life as a slave, if you were able to pull in the, um, the, the not to say the money, cause you couldn't do anything with it, but like you can pull in certain, like the, the freedom of another, of another life, or you can pull in the, the positivity of another life. So you can get through that life. You know, um, it's nice to think that that energy can, is, it can be transmuted and, and, and shared.
you know um yeah absolutely like and it's that. all you it's all you right so then it's all like so, so i think that that's where maybe at the fifth moment you start becoming one with all your other selves and and then you can start maybe like you know quantum jumping to those lifetimes instantly and, and but i think ultimately to get to that level that's why i was saying you know it's the attachments it's it's not having any attachments because then you can go into that lifetime and not be attached to like maybe you had a family or or, some, or you know it was a hard life but yeah. so that you know that okay i'm just passing through i'm just time traveling or or quantum jumping to this lifetime it's okay you know like i have all these other lifetimes i'm not in this lifetime right now anymore but i'll just appreciate it and i'll go visit it kind of like when i went to visit myself as a kid yeah. right in this timeline in this lifetime because you can go see yourself in all these other lifetimes right and visit yourself in these other lifetimes and and then and but you know so i'm not there yet but i believe that like i don't know if it will happen in this lifetime i don't know if i'll be ready or but whenever maybe the next ones but i think that that's like that would be so cool that i i don't know if i will do it in this lifetime but you know like let's say like i mentioned to you like in my future life that i saw one of my future lifetimes like it would be so cool to go to that future lifetime spend a week there yeah. and then come and then here will be like a minute and then come back here and be like oh my god i was just in the future for a week you know and then, yeah, and then yeah. come back and and talk, you know talk about it more in this you know but with yeah. with you or whatever. But I don't know. I'm sure there's people you know the masters. I mean I don't know the masters, but there's there someone out there doing that, that level. Yeah, yeah there are people at that, that level. So. Um, uh, but I, I mean I I believe there's no coincidences in this, and so the fact that you just happen to connect with that particular life, I think that if you if you you know put enough thought behind it, you'll be able to get some uh, you know. Ask them for a loan, actually your banker self for a loan, and then share the wealth, please, Raphael. Just send me something. One one bar of gold. Just one bar of gold. Okay, so, gold okay, so then once you kind of like become all your lifetimes, but then from there, then you can start having the experience of 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 uh you know, maybe having a humanoid body, another body, you know, in, in different planets across the universe. So then that's where I was, and I mentioned to that before, that then you start having so this is a the fifth dimension is like a huge realm or dimension because you can end up exploring yourself as beings across the universe for billions of years or you know what i'm saying like you mm -hmm. want to experience yourself that is like humanoid but with really advanced ability so I'll, I'll you know be able to teleport and like that and of course you know because i mean i already went through all the you know i've already went quantum jump to my lifetimes so i'm not i'm at a level where i could just quant you know quantum jump teleport instantaneously right so so you know so but maybe i'm in a in another planet like in you know in the Palladians or Sirius or whatever planet, any planet across the not even just in this galaxy, in different galaxies or whatever. And then you can start having those abilities, you know, where I'm I'm teleporting, I have telepathy, I have a telekinesis, um, you name it. I mean, that's just to start, right? And so then from there, then you keep evolving too as well in, in those realms with a humanoid body. Not like I was saying, like kind of like in the Marvel movies, right? That then you can start having some like really advanced abilities, but still you have a humanoid body. Mm -hmm. and and then uh you know but but you're able to to uh to experience yourself as just in different you know be like now i'm gonna go check out this other planet and i'll go on this other planet and and then i'm having this ability you know abilities i don't know you can even be creating suns or something in a human body or who knows you know like yeah. all these abilities are pretty but profound just, and just to clarify so i can make sure i understand what's happening here so you're saying all right the to get into the fifth that's the end of the reincarnation cycle right and I'm assuming that you mean the Earth reincarnation cycle. Like, is it just yeah, Earth that? Right, oh, right. Okay. Uh -huh, sure. All right. So then, at the fifth dimension, now you have the capability. Are we talking about full lives, or you're talking about you're just kind of quantum jumping into different advanced beings, or you mean that you can now live like with 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 more like uh, independently? You can make the decision. Oh, I want to be in that body. I want to be on this planet. I want to have this experience. Right. You're you more conscious oh. then. Oh, you see okay. what I'm saying? So. So like now you can't just be... you can't just force yourself to the sixth level. You got to do that until you know. I think you want you want to right because you're like yeah yeah. And I want to I want to experience myself as Thor, you know. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> you know, in in, 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 in Valhalla, you know, and I have all this ability. Yeah. And I have a humanoid body, but I have all these powers. Yeah. <laughs> have this kind okay. of god powers or whatever. Not just oh, you know what I'm saying. So oh, you know it's funny because in one of the Thor movies, um, I forgot which one it was. I don't know if it was the second one or. It, it there's like different it, it like there's like the portals of the dimensions of the realms because you know in Thor it talks about the different the, the nine realms right the nine yeah, realm yeah. that's where Al, Al, uh, Valhalla is Valhalla, and then yeah. when and then then I don't know if you remember that movie that the kids like are play like they throw keys or shoes and stuff and they disappear oh yeah yes. right You're right yes yeah wow. 
Okay. okay. Go to the other I, gotta, I gotta see if my forks are in Valhalla. <laughs> what is going on? I know they're probably over there. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. So uh, the sixth dimension. Yeah. Okay. Then, then I, you know. So then, I, you know, you could end up exploring yourself in the fifth for millions forever. of years. You know, you <laughs> like, know, like forever. I mean, for probably forever, for, until you're like, okay, you know, like this is probably not. I had enough fun. <laughs> And mm -hmm. then, and again, this is just glimpses of what I've seen. Like, who knows exactly where? <laughs> but mm -hmm. so then, from there, it's like, okay, for me now, then there's the next experience. And again, it's just experiences. It's not that one is better than the other one. It's just different experiences, right? So then, for me, then the next dimension, the sixth dimension, the way I've I've come to understand, and again, just glimpses of what I came to understand. That's more. That's the creator realm. So that's kind of like the God realm or the creator realm. So that's kind of like when you start becoming a creator of of planets. So they, that's kind of like, that's the, the creator realm where you start creating planets. And then you start creating, like, let's say you start, you became a creator of planet Earth. So then you start creating, you know, whatever, like the whole structure of Earth. And then you can, you, know, you create pla uh, plants, you create animals, you create humans. Um, then you create the, the matrix, you know, within the system, you know, with the simulation, like what kind of divine plan there's going to be. Like there's going to be an evolution of humanity, of humans and you see what I'm saying? So then you start creating, basically, you get to the level of creator of realms, of simulations, of planets, and then uh, across the universe. <laughs> so then you just start playing with that kind of energy where you start creating you know, different planets and, and everything. And then and then also you become the planets because I have become planet Earth and, um, you know, uh, like, yeah, so I, I I came to realize that you become a creator of planets and then you create different planets for, you know, different reasons, like like if I told you Haji, what kind of planet would you want to create? You know, like, oh you probably my god! Wonder, like, <laughs> <laughs> Disco right? every day, just dancing, laughing, singing, unicorns. Like, <laughs> and then you'll create planets like that too. I mean, it's endless, right? So then, uh -huh. uh, like you know, and then again, it's like right we're having this contrast. So when we get to that level, we're like, oh man, I'm gonna create some really cool planets. Like you know, everyone's <laughs> happy, or <laughs> I mean, just different stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, so that's kind of like the came the way I, I sort of came to understand it that once you start, then then you know, then you start becoming a creator, and then so yeah, that's when you start reaching those kind of levels. And and again, it's 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 like don't I, you know, I hope people don't see that as like way too far out there. But I mean, I think when I was having the experience, it, it seemed pretty far out. There. But now yeah. I'm like, okay, well, just imagine you're building a little Lego of of a planet, yeah. you know. And, and yeah. and then you just kind of like you know well you know if I ask you what kind of planet would you want to create yeah. you know then you just know, and, that, and that's you know? the thing like in in some ways some people will see this uh, like I was telling my last guest it's completely blasphemous so like you're not they'll say you're not the creator you're like I'm not saying I'm the creator I'm saying I'm a creator you know as being a child of God and you have you know its capabilities as well right but um you just think about what we do even as like you said like playing with legos and things like that i have you know nieces and nephews that are like very creative like they start working with clay and you know drawing and all that kind of stuff and to some extent on a physical very slow level we create here all the time we create the buildings that we live in you know through architecture and stuff like that we create you know our, our systems we create our food our clothes you know like it's just um it's a very it's a much slower process of going from nothing to having something you know physical in front of you but this is just the, as you got like you said as you got through the rounds where you can actually think and then all of a sudden things are being created um so um it right. sounds fun at the very least it sounds fun and i'm going to start thinking about what kind of planet i put together but <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, th I think i was just going to comment on what you said because i think it's great that you know if you think about it right like we are creators <laughs> in a way right because we're creating technology and we're creating all this i mean compared to like I don't know, it doesn't matter, an insect or a little ant, you know, like here are these beings creating, you know, airplanes and creating spaceships and creating, you know what I'm saying? So in a way, or we are creators to some extent, right? So, yeah. um, you know, so to, to say we're creating planets, it's not that far out if you just see it from perspective, you know, it's like, but yeah, yeah. I would just say, you know, yeah. <laughs> I like that you mentioned an ant because it's like, yes, we're creating, you know, airplanes and things like that. But if you really look at, and you've been an ant, so you know this, but you look, right, I know you too. really look at the intricacies of an ant, 
And it's even the intricacies of the atom, you realize, oh, we really are just babies. Like, we can never really just act like we're, you know, like, even this tiny thing that was created in general, it's like, it's so much more massive than anything that we physically as humans could create, you know, it's just elaborate. Um, but anyway, so um, I I recall that you said in the sixth dimension, and I also was kind of, uh, in our last um, discussion, was uh, likening it to the sixth uh, density of the law of one, the raw material. And um, they kind of said at that point, around that density, you can't pass or go into the sixth density until you have gone to the path of service to others, you know. So it's kind of like that, you know, that gate to make sure nothing, no, nothing bad gets passed here, you know. So I, I uh, so in the fifth dimension, you could be that bad alien or that, you know, the, the reptilians and things like that that are coming and trying to destroy this planet or that planet or take over and play all those little games. But you can't get past, you can't get through the door of sixth uh, dimension. Was that correct? <laughs> what you said yeah, uh, exactly i mean it gets to a point where you know that it's it's impossible you, you yeah. can't the, the matrix with the simulation will let you know it's just like i said the simulation the matrix yeah. the universe is, it has an algorithm that yeah. you know that you know anything that doesn't resonate at a higher frequency like you know you cannot pass you know like it, it'll it'll <laughs> bounce over and over and over and over like until you're like you just can't and then you only purity comes up so like yeah, yeah it, it, it will it, it can't it just can't the, the matrix bouncer they make sure nobody gets through what yeah, makes sure help trust me they, no, only vip oh only vip <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah you gotta yeah 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 that's, it doesn't work that way it's only or you know okay. you gotta be at that level so yeah so I also want to mention something that I happened to, and I wish I, if I can reference it, I'll put it in the description, but I did hear of another NDE ages ago where this woman, um, it was actually pretty cool because she was a white, an older white female, and she said she had the experience of, of recalling her lies, like kind of doing that quantum jumping, where she saw that she was a black male, like during the civil rights, mo mo you know, movement and stuff, and going to that kind of really stressful life. Um, but then right after that, she was a planet. She said she was an ice planet, and she experienced being an actual entity in this planet and pr providing for um because it was an ice planet there wasn't like a lot of life forms but whatever was there she was providing for it and stuff like that so i i it, you're not alone in having had been a planet yeah. you know oh, no, 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 which no, is no, awesome no. so just you know it's awesome um to think that you could do that and it also gives you like when you people hear this then really think about mother earth like people have personified her maybe people who have had experiences like Raphael, so they know that it really is a spirit to this planet. And it makes you really want to start, you know, recycling and, you know, hugging her, so go hug a tree, you know, like really just saying, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, we're sorry for what we've done. We're so, so sorry, you know, but it just makes you realize that there is a being there that's that's seeing what we're doing to her, you know, um, so yeah. keep that in mind. Um, and then I like what you wrote here. I'm going to probably be putting up the post of what you have here. Yeah, um, of course, of course. But mm -hmm. you, you mentioned that planets can communicate with one another. So planet can communicate with another planet stars and galaxies so that's amazing um like people do talk about the the symbi like i don't know if i should say symbiotic but the relationship between earth and the sun and then earth with the moon you know um and i like that idea i like the idea to think that they're communicating and working together so yeah yeah um, yeah, yeah they're communicating <laughs> okay all right so let's move to, to the seventh dimension yeah, then the, then you know, then that's then the next level is like, okay, you already created planets throughout the universe and that's fine and and you know, yeah, whatever, you know, you became those planets and then and then again I think you could even say, okay, I'm I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna go into the simulation and become an avatar and work and play around that planet too. And I mean you can go back and forth, right? Because well, once you're higher, you can also go down, you know, in the realms, right? So you can be a planet creator and then you kind of come back with, with a humanoid body, I mean, just to have fun or whatever. But anyway, so I think you can explore creating yourself as millions of planets across. Then you're like, okay. And then it's like, okay. And then it's kind of like, for me, it's like, okay. And then you start creating suns, stars. So that's kind of like the, you know, the way then, then you start creating planets and solar systems. And and then um, and then you start becoming the sun. Because I've also become, I, I became the sun as well. Uh, and... Did you feel hot? Did you feel hot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating, man. How, how did it feel, though? Really? <laughs> no. I mean, no. It was like it was radiating love, man. It was oh, the, okay. the flares. It was just love. Nice. Yeah, yeah it was pretty okay. intense. 
And then also, you know, I saw uh, the way I've well, I, I've experienced it too is like I saw from like the sen- the source that like, there's a source that's at the 11th dimension and it sends energy and codes into the into each universe or you know there are like parallel universes around the the source it sends like codes of energy and explosions of energy and then it sends us to each one of these universe and then each one of the universes has like a central sun has a, mm-hmm. at the center of the universe there's a central it's called the great central sun so each one yeah. of the universes has a sun and then from there that great central sun sends explosions of energy mm-hmm. or or codes which are sent to the center of the galaxy and then each one of those galaxies send an, like you know like a, like a sun it's like a sun and sends the energy to each one of the suns each one of the stars so wow. then each one of the suns you know sends that energy explosion of, of light and love and codes into planets but it all comes from the you know from the source and oh you know it's funny too i'll share something when uh you said it was incredible when i lived in england 2015 um i uh I saw that there was an explosion from the great central sun from the center of our universe. That was a massive explosion of energy. And I saw how it was flying from the center of the universe. It was just a wave of energy. And I remember hearing the noise. It was it was like and I was wow. just like, oh my God. And then I realized that it was gonna hit Earth in five years, which was 2020. And I'm mm-hmm. like, and I remember telling, you know, a few friends that I would talk about this. I'm like, man. I saw this explosion from the center of the universe. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going to happen, man, but 2020 is going to be, there's something major that was wow. going to shift the consciousness of Earth. And and I was thinking, I'm like, they were like, what is it going to be? I'm like, I don't know, maybe the aliens. <laughs> I, I didn't really know what it was going to be, but, but yeah. I, I just told them in five years, because I somehow knew it was going to take five years in, in Earth time to arrive, the energy from the center of the universe to earth mm-hmm. but i knew it was going to be to raise the frequency of consciousness for the collective and that was wow. when COVID. so when COVID hit you know i was like oh my god that's what it was it, it really is just to raise the consciousness you know yeah. to and for everything you know they gave birth to podcasts and it's you know people are reflecting on lives yeah. and, yeah, and everything, everything a lot of things changed from that point so i mean like and it's funny because you would never have assumed that it was going to be a pandemic like you just knew there was going to be something that was going to change everything, you know. And the Schumann resonance has been kind of very wicky wonky since then. Any anyway, you know. So um, I like that idea of, and I want to just stop there for a moment so people realize that you're saying it's cold. So there is, you know, that uh, light, uh, light cold and things like that. But it's also like you said, light and love. It's light and love, and like love really is that energy that is like the creative force. Um, so I think that especially if you're getting into a point in your life where you're starting to feel maybe down or you're going through some kind of depression or something like that, uh, and, you, and if you're listening to this at that moment, I hope that you realize the power of love. Like just start feeling your heart, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're feeling, fill your heart with the love every day. Like just have a, a, mo- a few minutes a day that you start filling your heart with love for yourself, for, for first, for sure, for yourself for others, et cetera. And I think that that is going to just start building you up because there is power in that emotion, right? I mean, it, it, it wouldn't be going through galaxies and multiverses if it wasn't if it wasn't powerful. Like it has to be able to get through all that, you know? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wow, course, that's dude. amazing. All right, so uh, so uh, dimension eight. Yeah, so then, um, and then eight, so that, that's kind of like where you become, uh, you start becoming a creator of galaxies. So that's kind of like, you know, then you start creating, uh, uh, start becoming creator of galaxies, and then you start becoming galaxies. And, and I have also become a galaxy. <laughs> I've wow. also become a galaxy. And uh, so, like I say, I have become all this, you know, I've experienced those realms and, and I've seen that's kind of like where it is. And then I became, you know, this entity. Now, so I became the galaxy. As a galaxy, so like you had mentioned before, you could feel the alien. I don't want to say. I'm going to say alien because that makes sense to people, but you can feel the beings kind of traversing through you, right? Um, right. Yeah. Are you able? Are you able to kind of pinpoint on one? Like, could you actually see what's happening in the life of one, or was it kind of just like a up, like an aerial view of okay, they're just they're doing things down there? <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, again, I think for me it was just like I said, just open. I just barely opened my eyes, you know. But I think if I go back to that space, if I don't know if I will 
again in this lifetime or next one or whatever, uh, or even someone else, you know, like me just sharing that all of a sudden people, that's too, that's also why I'm just putting all these messages just to tell people and then so people become aware, maybe they will have more experiences than me or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So just yeah. to help them activate them or whatever. But uh, I would just say that, um, yeah, uh, that I get, you can come to the point where like, like, yeah, you can go anywhere. You can just go to any civilization by instinct, right? You're the galaxy. Then I'm going to just, I I can get to the point where let me, let me see them all, all the civilizations, you know? I felt it and I saw them, but I was just like, wasn't at that point where, oh yeah, let me go dive in. Like that would have been too far out for, at that point. You, you were just trying to navigate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think right now it's, it took a while to just take it in and simulate this whole thing, right? So yeah. I wasn't ready to be like, oh, man, I'm going to go explore every civilization out there because I wasn't ready, you know? Like, I, yeah. I think finally now I, I could be ready if it happens again, then I could yeah. start exploring other civilizations and, you know, just to see them. But yeah. but yeah, I definitely, you know, became aware of all the civilizations. that, And I, I felt them communicating and, you know, and, and it was, yeah, it was incredible. So, yeah, I mean, so then, you know, so then you, you become a creator of galaxies and then you become the galaxies, right? <laughs> and then, uh, and then you can like also just, you know, I mean, you could then you, I, I don't know what it's like, but all I know is that you can start understanding even deeper and further how the universe works, you know, at this galactic level, you know, and, and then yeah. communicate with, with, with different galaxies. And, and then again, we're like in a baby, you maybe have a baby, but there's a gigantic galaxy, you know, and then, so you start communicating with those gigantic galaxies, what's going on over here? Like, <laughs> like I'm, my galaxy is better than yours now. <laughs> or taking notes, you know how like neighbors start making the same thing, like they start um, putting up the same, yes. you know, like um, kind of copying each other, whatever. So you might be looking at that galaxy like, hey, I like, I like how you're doing your planets over there. Can you give me some ideas? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's kind of how it is, you know, like it's like... <laughs> Like what are you guys going going over here? What kind of place are you uh, going? And, and then uh, and they're like, oh, okay, you know, oh, you know, okay, just, I'll, I'll play with some new galaxy, you know. So yeah, I mean, that's yeah. that kind of level, you know. Again, yeah, but, knows, I, I, I mean, but that's kind I, of how what I've seen. I like this idea, and I want people to like st just stop here and just think about like if you ever feel alone, like even slightly alone, we're never alone, not even remotely. You probably want to be more alone if you if you really think about it. You got you got planets looking in at you. You got well god itself looking at you all the time it's always within you but you have uh you know galaxies looking in at you you got your your other aspects running around checking in on you like you know you got your guardian angels <laughs> it's like are we ever yeah, alone yeah. I, I know that dolores cannon and uh, i haven't read all her books i've read like two or three but in one of her books i don't it was the convoluted universe but i don't remember which one it was i think it was the fourth one or she mentioned something about you know she did the hypnotherapy on people yeah. And she mentioned that someone, one of her clients, that said that she remembered that in her la last, she remembered that she had been a galaxy. And wow, that, so, okay. so when I read that, I was like, oh, thank God, you know, because I have been one too. Yes, so, yes. You know, it was like, it was really cool to, to see that too. So, I mean, you know, again, there's people that, I'm not the only one, I'm sure millions of people have had this experience, experiences, yeah. but yeah, it, it's, it was, I was fascinated to see like, oh yeah, there's some people that are like, oh yeah, I was a galaxy in my other lifetime. So I was like, Wow, that's pretty good. Cool. Perfect, perfect. And people need that. That's why, like you said, you have to, you know, share this information. So there's somebody who's watching now that's like, oh my God, I remember being a galaxy too. <laughs> you know, you never know. So it's it's important exactly. that we do this so that they feel more comfortable coming out and saying that, you know. Um, yeah, and maybe somehow these messages will just, you know, activate, you know, yes. that part of their brain or their consciousness. And Because yeah. for me too, you know, a lot of my experiences I had after I had met someone they had the experiences. Like I remember uh, when I lived in Germany, I was uh, I met some I was volunteering with visually impaired people, and they're the ones that told me about out of body experiences. Mm -hmm. And then and then right after that, they told me I started having out of body experiences. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. So people activate you in that sense. They give you that information, oh, and yeah. then somehow it activates you. You see what I'm saying? An upgrade or an activation. So I, I've done. It's happened to me many times from. From, from those friends. And then, and, and I remember I was in Poland too. After Germany, I went to Poland. And I remember uh, I met uh, some Mexicans. And this one Mexican guy there in Poland told me that he felt like a thunder of light hit his head. Mm. And then he's like, he felt like light all over his body. And I, and then I, right after he told me, then it happened to me too. And then mm. that's when the crown chakra opened up, you know? And I felt yeah. like a tunnel of light coming through my head. Yeah. And so, you, you know what I'm saying? So I just realized, like, wow, sometimes people tell you things. Yeah, and then it activates them in you. So, 
you know, that's why I'm like, okay, I hope that this can somehow help people activate in yeah. them, you know, because, you know, I'm sure there's going to, I think right now there's a lot of old souls coming in and, and oh, yeah. you know, way older souls than me. I mean, I'm a baby, you know, but, but you know, so to be, I, I'm fascinated to start hearing more stories, you know, more, more people talking about this stuff, like even more, you know, like, you're like, so some people are going to start being activated a lot soon and, and sharing yeah. more. And, you know, and, and so it's like, yeah, so I'm hoping that somehow this, our information can help activate other people and, Oh, yeah. So that they can start gonna, remembering and sharing more stuff. So <laughs> it's going to help with the shift because, um, you know, we have to get it to a point where it's not like when people say this stuff, they're being either like put away or they're be being shut down and telling, you know, be quiet, don't say that. Um, because it's not, in order to move forward, we have to know about this stuff. Like we literally have to make sure that this knowledge is out there. So I totally agree with you um, with that. And um, it's how humans learn anyway. Like they said that the, the guy who ran the fastest mile, like, you know, as soon as he broke that record and all of a sudden, like the next day, or I mean, I'm exaggerating, but literally people started being able to run as fast as he did. So that's like they were almost waiting to see if it was possible, you know? So right, that's just right. how people are. Yeah. All right. So um, that was dimension eight with the galaxy is now dimension nine. Yeah. So, and so then that's kind of like when you start becoming a creator of the universe. You know, so then you get to that level, like, okay, you're already, and again, each realm, you can stay millions, right? Imagine creating millions of galaxies, billions of good. I mean, I mean, you can be there for a while, you know, but again, then you come to a point where like, okay, I already became millions of galaxies and created millions of galaxies or whatever. And so then you okay, now I'm going to start creating a universe, you know, and not that big of a difference, but. Yeah. So kind of after, after, was it after the, I guess you could say after the six. Uh, or maybe after the fifth, it's kind of like you create it, you explore it, you become it. Create it, explore it, become it. Right? Um, exactly. Okay. The so uh, the tenth dimension. Then that's the multiverse, and then um, so then so then that's when you start creating multiverses, you mm -hmm. know, different universes. So then so yeah, so that's the multiverse uh, realm. Or the, so then that's when you start creating. So you at the ten, you created already one universe, and again, because you're gonna explore yourself as the universe. You're, I mean, I don't know what that is like, but you know, you can just imagine, like you know, and and then, uh, but then at the at then at the you know at the ten, you know, then you start creating the multiverse, and then you start creating different universes. Different now, universes. did you and, did you did you experience uh, the the multiverse, the, the tenth dimension, or this is it something that you just know? Yeah. So the way, okay, I I have only seen it, but I haven't I I haven't I haven't really got into the other universes, but mm -hmm. I have seen some of those universes and okay. you know like i mentioned before like it was uh like one of those universes was like there was like schools and it's i mean i'm still trying to figure out too like what i yeah. you know from all these experiences but i remember that one of them was kind of like the creator like in this one universe you like you, you went in there to learn create you know planets and all this stuff so that was maybe one of the universes oh then one of the other universes was like the akashic record uh keeper universe you know where you start creating um you know, the, you start becoming a, a, a Akashi record keeper of, of the universe. And then another universe was like maybe learning to be having like different humanoid bodies or, or you know, experiences. But, you know, at the end of the day, you, you can even just create a different universe with different laws as well, right? Maybe right. this universe, it'll be everyone's blissed out and everyone's happy and everyone is like, you know, <laughs> like there is no contrast. In this. Yeah. And there is like, everybody is like a creator, everybody's like a god and everybody's, you know what I'm saying? So, it could be something like that where, you know, where, uh, you know, there's different laws, you know, there is no good and bad. There was just maybe all, you know, different, uh, yeah. different shapes of planets or just different yeah. matrix. And they, um, they, they mentioned that in the, the law of one as well, when it is um, that the different universes might have totally different laws. They might well, not I, even like, it might be like no speech. It might like, I, I'm trying to, I'm using English to explain this, but clearly it's, things that cannot be explained because like the planets instead of being spherical can be cubes you know or right, that's where i was you, going exactly. or or, yeah. or space itself could be all white as opposed to you know dark colored with all this the stars you know so it, it it just completely opens everything like you talk about being creative and trying to think of new things blank slate you know like some of these universes are just drastically different than anything we would ever know you know and, and it's, it's like if i told you how do you you know Think of a universe. What would you create in that universe? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> then it's like, I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know, oh well, you know, instead of my in the center, instead of 
plan has been, you know, in a sphere of being a triangle. Yeah, you know, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Or whatever, you know, or, or you know, or you know, be everybody will be like creators, or you know, or in this other, you know. So, mm -hmm. from what I think, what it is, you know, from what I've experienced, and you know, what what the little that I've seen is like, you know, it could be like either just creating a completely different planets, completely different, uh, you know, laws. Yes, I mean, I've seen that. That's kind of how it works. And mm -hmm. then there's different schools, right? Maybe you could become a you know creator, but. But yeah, but I I haven't like gone in there and like really explored it. But I'm not there yeah. yet, but but I know that that's kind of like how it works. So, so there's the, the there's you know you can start creating different universes, and then you start becoming you know those universes. So yeah. that's kind of like the multiverse, um, you know, in the ten. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then the final uh, eleven. The final the eleven <laughs> again, and then again, you know, then I mean again, I at the end there's like no at the end if you got to take off all the numbers, all the dimensions, it's all one anyway, right? But that's kind of like the source for me. Like that was kind of like the source consciousness. The source is the creator of, of the multiverse. You see what I'm saying? So, so then that that was the source, the creator, and then it create it created all these little universes around, all the, like parallel universes around it, like smaller fractions of itself to create. Like each one of us kind of like created its own thing. Like okay, you go create. Like how do you, you are one uni you are one universe? You're gonna create your own thing. Raphael, you're this other universe. You're create. So, you know, and I saw 12 too. It was kind of weird. I don't know, but it was like all around the, the source, which is like, and that's 13. I don't know yeah. if the numbers matter or not, but it doesn't matter. But then, no, no, um, it's, it's, I've heard those numbers are very symbolic. 12 and then the extra 13 is like 13. It. So 100% that, that aligns up with other things I've heard. At least for this universe, I've heard that, you know. Yeah. Um, And some people see it as like a council. They'll see a council of 12 and they say the extra one is another one, the 13th, you know. And maybe that's why we have yeah. these, these weird ideas about the number 13. Like it's a lot of, you know, um, super. I know. Numbers. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, the 13th is the source, or the 13th is you and the council, right? So you're the 13th. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I never really thought about like, oh, I have, you know, the numbers for me didn't really, I don't know, didn't really associate with anything, but I saw 12. So, mm -hmm. so and then, uh, but then the 13th would be the source, right? So then, so then that's like the, the, the source, you know, then you, but then at that, once you're the source, then you become, then you all become all. The, you know the the universes around you, the multiverse. You become one with them, and then you experience all their like. You now you experience Hachi universe. You know you're like, and then I'm experiencing Raphael's universe, and I'm experiencing you know. So then you're experiencing all of them. You know, and, and again, was from the little bit that I've seen, that uh, who knows what that really is like. But that's kind of like what I came to understand that at that level, you're like at the level where, where um, you know, you kind of like become the multiverse in one with all the universes, and then but then after that, you know, like. I remember seeing that then I was like, well, this is it, right? Like, and then it was like, no, there's the next dimension. If you want to call it the 12th dimension. So I was yeah. like, whoa, man, this is, like this is another one. is like, because that was the end, you know, but you can't go further than source, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we talked about this last time. There's nothing beyond source. But at that point, I was like, I was told like, no, there is more. And, and kind of like what I told you earlier, like, okay, we're here. We became the galaxy. And then here comes this giant galaxy, like, oh, my God. It's the same thing. There's other sources out there with with more universes, you know. We, we could be bigger ones. I don't know. Like, but but you can go meet other sources. Not like we we're saying about the galaxies. You can go meet other galaxies. Yeah. At, at the twelfth dimension, you can even go and explore other sources out there. And, mm -hmm. and but at that point, I was like, man, I, I I I'm not ready to go meet other. You're like I barely <laughs> made it to eleven. I can't. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I'm going back. I'm no, going back yeah, to that was too like I'm going too back much. To <laughs> and then, oh and then at, the, at that point i was like like no nah, I'm, okay, I'm okay man i don't want to go be more and, and but, so then it told and then it told me uh well then if you want you you can then you can go back to the beginning you can go back to dimension one or realm one and do it mm. all over again just for the fun of it you know and then mm. so then what happened there i be i just said yeah like, i'd rather go back to the beginning man because Let's go back to zero, you know. So then I've been back to dimension one, and then I became the atom again. But then that's when I realized that being the source of the multiverse, it was exactly the same as being the atom. It was one and the same. 
That it was one is of the a mind freak, a mind freak. Like people talk about, like, just really think about that for a minute. Like you go to the, what you think is the top of the top of the top. And then you say, put me back to the bottom. And then you find, and then it's not, it's not like you, so you didn't realize that the first time you were there, the first time you were to Adam, you're just like, oh, look at all these codes and lights. And, right, you know, right, it. right, right, right. Mm -hmm. But it was not until you saw what was at uh, 11 that you realized, and you go back to one and you go, oh my God, like this is the, be the beginning is the end. Like, you know, right, right, what is right. going on here? So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's not saying we, the, we, we know nothing. We know nothing. We, it's just like a drop, <laughs> a drop in the ocean, you know. Um, on, but this, I mean, for sure has expanded my mind. And I'm sure that people who listen to this are going to like the same way, you know, have some instances where they're like, oh, my God, that might have been what he's saying. Like, I might have had that experience as well. Um, or like you said, it might activate. And now, like tomorrow, they're going to be flying through dimensions, you know? Yeah. Um, oh, my God. Like, I yeah, always get a feeling during these interviews, but this has been the strongest I've ever felt it. Like, I definitely felt something happening in the crown. And I felt the, you know, the, the love, you know, the love energy and just something is here, you know, something, something positive, because otherwise I'd be running. But it's all good, all good energy. So I think, um, you know, we're, we're moving into realms, other realms, even as we're talking about this. You know, I feel like I did experience each one. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, there's a lot of people out there talking like, um, you know, Mat Matias and Stefano? Yeah. Be good if you can interview him. I, that'd be nice because I know he's like an ascendant master, you know, he's a very more, way more advanced than me. And, but, you know, and then there's other beings out there, right? So, I mean, that's so cool that a lot of people are, you know, and then I know some Aaron Apke, I can't remember, I think Aaron Apke, he's talking about, oh, yeah. you know, the, yeah. the raw the raw material. He's like incredible explaining, you know, like he's, that's, you know, like, so there's a lot of people talking about all this stuff, but, um, but yeah, I, I feel like it's so cool. Like for me, I wish, I mean, I don't know, hopefully soon or later on, I would love to like create like some kind of model, you know, like that kind of like, we're going to start, everybody can start putting more like, because I'm just giving you a little piece of the pie or, or my, or my perspective, or, you know, a part of the, you know, what I've seen, the truth or whatever, but that's just one aspect. Right. Yeah. And then here comes, you know, Matias telling you, his, you know, perspective, and then this comes this Aaron, or, you know, whatever different people, Darius is another guy that I think is, talks about the realms, and so then there's all these different people that, are, we're all just basically having the little different glimpses, to, yeah. you know, of the universe, right, how the, the multi-dimensionals mm -hmm. and all this stuff, so it, it's kind of cool, like, so I, I think it would be so cool, I mean, hopefully, I don't know how that's going to work, but I wish kind of like we could create some kind of model where they, and then more people like going to start being activated, right, and they're like, oh my God, I, I you know, I was able to see the dimensions and, and now you know I have more downloads and and then they can add to that model, you know, like like all yeah. of a sudden, you know, or you know, then this person is adding more to so then we all are putting like, put it together like a the puzzle, you know, of the different models. So that'd be cool well, to create. I, I so think, hopefully I think the first step, like you're saying, put the puzzle pieces together is to have that that interview where everybody's just sitting there together. Like you come together, you know, I meet together, well, you know, not physically, but in Zoom, whatever. And you're able to just kind of hash out what you've experienced, what he's experienced, what he's experienced. And then we, you know, as the viewers can start to put the pieces together as well. You know, so I just think that just bringing these people together is the biggest thing, you know. Um, you yeah, know. like like I said, yeah. I think that would be my dream. My dream would be to, to bring everybody together. You know, like for me, it was like, OK, let's bring for me like this is I mean, I, you know, I'm thinking about I don't know if that's what we're going to call it, but. The idea that I was had like the supernova talks is like a you know platform where you bring people to have different topics and different you know so then there'd be like all the quantum mechanics you know people talking about strength theory talking about quantum entanglement talking about the simulation theory talking about parallel universe theory you know Max Tech Mark like he's like he's talking about the multiverse and so you got all the scientists talking about all this stuff and then you and then you bring other people that are having their awakening their consciousness you know their their mm -hmm. NDEs and, so then you know bringing like a pool of a whole bunch of people and and and, and having talks and then mm -hmm. you know we're, we're all putting it together like string theory and then all of a sudden we're there's you know we're talking about the different dimensions so like it'd be so cool to like bring it together and yeah. then bring people together so that way we can bring the the puzzle together instead of science versus consciousness or spirituality you know the division yeah. it's like no let's just put it together because we as we work as a team yes and we can go even way further right so and yeah. um and it and it's so, simple. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just as simple as networking. It really is. So with, with, with that said, um, can you tell people how they can contact you via um, email and then, you know, tell them your website 
And uh, you mentioned supernova, so supernova.com, you'd want people, um, maybe someone who happens to watch this and they, you know, are one of those specialists or one of those NDE years or somebody who feels like, you know what, I feel like I have the other part of the puzzle that he's missing, you know, that we can talk and then it will work out. Then contact Raphael as well. And that way you can set up some kind of, you know, Zoom meeting where you have at least three, to me, the magic number is three. So three or more people yeah, from all, these, from all these different backgrounds and just start talking and see what you kind of discover. Um, but so how can people contact you, Raphael? Yeah, the uh, one of my websites is like supernova and then talks, not like TED Talks, dot uh, com. So supernova talks dot com, and that's kind of where I kind of want to put together the idea about you know bringing different speakers and different uh, from quantum mechanics to consciousness to corporate consciousness to uh, you know like fund the future ideas, kind of like projects to help the future of Earth and education as well. So it's kind of like this, but at the end it's just bringing in different people from different specialties and. And so supernovatalks.com. Um, and then I have a personal that I, I try to help people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you know, it's uh, with their understanding life lessons. And that's uh, decodinglifelessons.com. And uh, and then my email, you can email me at decodinglifelessons101 uh, at gmail.com. And yeah, that's how you can contact me. So, but yeah, check out my websites and then you can contact me via my website as well. And, and yeah, I would love to hear from you, uh, if, you know, if you need help one-on-one -on -one and, or if, you know, of course, like if you want to, you know, if, if you feel like you're drawn to do doing bigger projects, yeah, let, let's, let's bring bigger projects, you know, and let's bring people together. That would be my dream is it's, it's like just bring everybody together or bring people together. And so we can bring the big puzzle together even more and more closer. So yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. So I think we've given people a lot. It's probably going to be two in two uh, videos. Yeah, <laughs> so that's great. Let me let me let me jump into editing this. But um, I I know I've learned a lot, and I I really enjoyed this time. Um, and I I feel really confident that people are going to start you know uh, contact you via the website and contacting you personally to start you know putting the puzzle pieces together to really see what they can do because you have such a a really positive. Um, people who really follow NDEs, you know, some people can have some really ugly ideas of what the future looks like, you know, and premonitions. But Raphael's um, idea of utopia, or Earth utopia, is is beautiful. Like, there's nothing negative about anything that he's, you know, he said. You know, um, so if you want to help build that as well, then you want to connect with him, um, and at least maybe just subscribe or you know add add to his newsletter so you can see what he's doing, what they're doing. If you yourself can't contribute, then at least follow and see what what's happening. You know, um, so I enjoyed this conversation. As, as always, Raphael, <laughs> enjoy oh, this conversation. You, um, if you, is there anything else that you want to share before we close up? Oh, I think it's good. I mean, I, I hope this helped people understand a little bit, you know, as far as the different dimensions. But, you know, again, just I'm just scratching the surface. But, yeah, you know, it's just, you know, there there is many, you know, levels of experiences that we get to experience. And we're eternal beings. And at the end of this, at least for now in this realm, I would just say focus on, you know, uh, mastering your lessons and enjoying the live and, and spreading your message because I feel everybody has the message, you know, or a gift, right? To some, so whatever, you, you know, follow your dreams and share your gifts and, and, and share your, your messages because I think everybody has some kind of message to give to, you know, to the world. And, and yeah, <laughs> I would just say that. Okay. All right. Thank you again for your time and for sharing the, the wisdom that you've accrued through your experiences. And um, I surround you, dear brother, in divine love and light. Blessings. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Andrew. I appreciate it. Thank you. Right, bye thank bye. you so much. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.